Today I would like to talk about the zaman, signs of the Day of Judgment as a religious experience that is necessary. As a religious experience that is absolutely necessary in the end of times. Look, what does it mean end of times? End of times of course means the world is coming to an end. But it also means that there is a final clash between Haq and Batil. A final clash between truth and falsehood. It means the person who sees the signs of the end of times knows where he's standing in history while everyone else is blind. It means a person who sees the signs of the end of times is not easily deceived because as Allah said, يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِيُونَ Allah, They want to extinguish the light of Allah. How? بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ With their mouths. With their magic, with their words, with their TV, with their tricks on TV, with their tricks in the media, with their tricks of information, repeating the same silly information, false information over and over again, and changing the people's minds and building consent, manufacturing false consent. The believer, while all this is happening, is able to see through the thick and the thin and see that this is a lie. Because one of the signs of the Day of Judgment is deception. Dajjal, the Dajjal is all about deception and the believer of the signs of the Day of Judgment who sees the tall buildings and says, okay, now must be the time where there's a lot of deception. If you live in a world where you don't see deception on a daily basis, you're not living, you must not be living in a world where there's tall buildings. Because, or you're not living in a world where the, the, all the slaves have been now freed after 1948, or you must not be living in a world where there's no surrogate mothers. But if you're living in a world where you see the tall buildings, then you must be seeing the signs of the Day of Judgment every day. You must be seeing deception and injustice and poverty and famine and control over resources every day. And if you don't, and you think everything is fine, and you think that everything will keep going fine, and that this progress will keep going as the way it is, then you are blind. It is only a person who sees the signs of the end of times knows where he is in history. And he is the one who can see through the deception. And he or she is the one who sees the war and the clash coming between truth and falsehood. If you don't see the end signs of the end times, and they're not meaningful to you, and they don't give you a religious experience, then you must be blind. Because a person who sees this will know where he is and where the deception is. And then he's not bothered by the little things. He's not bothered by, do you pray this way or pray that way? Or do you stand this way or stand that way? He's not bothered or she is not bothered by these things because she sees that we're all sinking in the same boat while everyone is fighting in the boat. And so the person who sees the signs that we're sinking, we have to get this boat running, is concentrating on the priorities of Islam. Fiqhul awliyat. What is the priorities of Islam will be clear in their mind. And so those of you who see the signs of the Day of Judgment, who see polytheism coming back to Arabia, the dance that they just had, or the party four day uh, rave party that they just had in Saudi Arabia. Those of you that see that, that hey, this is the prophecy of the Prophet coming back. There are people from Arabia now, from Saudi Arabia and UAE, going to temples of the Hindus and saying, I feel peace and serenity there. Polytheism, like the Prophet said, coming back. When you see this, then you know where you're in history. And if you don't see this, you are going to go just with the flow. And you're going to be deceived. And you're not going to see the truth. And so the people who see the truth will not be deceived because they don't believe everything they, they hear. They just don't. And they see and they confirm over and over again the Prophet is the truth. See, he told us this is a lie. And it is a lie. And so those of us that do see the truth, do see the deception, the first thing we must do is to thank Allah. We must thank Allah. That Allah has allowed us to see something that most people can't. We must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
that Allah has given us. And we see Ya'juj and Ma'juj going back to the city. That Allah had made a haram for them to go back to, but now they're going back there. Those of you who see reality and are not fooled and deceived by appearances, you should thank Allah. There is much to thank Allah for those who can see. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, open the eyes of the entire ummah. And open the eyes of everyone to see and to appreciate the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us in His Qur'an and through His beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That if we were to focus on them, we would see the reality of the world that we live in. And that the charm of this world, its reality would be revealed. And the fact that the whole world is coming to an end would be revealed. And how lucky is the person who has this religious experience where everything in, in the world of events, in the world of events, everything becomes religious and meaningful and purposeful. You see? And so, if you are one of those people who see the reality, then make sure that your Islam is good. And make sure your Iman is good. And make sure your Ihsan is good. Because if you see that, then shaitan will try to make sure your something is missing in your Islam or something is missing in your Iman and something is missing in your Ihsan. And so it's very important that the people that see the end of times, that they're not missing their prayers, that they're reading Quran every day, and that they're actually not using this as an entertainment. Because then that would that thing that would become a, that should be a blessing has now become actually a curse. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Those of you who listen to the Shiyu who talk about Islamic eschatology, but you're not doing your prayers and you're not reading your Quran every every day, at least every day you're not reading your Quran, you have homework to do. And you have potential. Because Allah has given you a gift, but you need to work on yourself. This is not entertainment. This is a serious affair. أَقُولَ قَوْلِ هَذَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَاءَ لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته